Read the Bible with me. All right, so Isaac gives Jacob his blessing to run far, far away from Esau so that he don't kill him. Rebecca told her son to go back to where she came from and marry one of the daughters of her brother so that he don't get involved with one of them Canaanite or Hittite women. When Esau found out how much his parents despised Hittite women, he went and married the daughter of Ishmael. Dude, that ain't gonna make you get another blessing. It ain't gonna change things. And Ishmael wasn't even the holy one. Isaac was. Falls asleep. He rests his head on a rock. He has a dream about angels going up and down this staircase back and forth from heaven to earth. Then God was right before him saying, I am. Now remember that name, I am. I'm the God of Abraham, your father. I'm giving the ground that you're sleeping on to you and all of your descendants. Your descendants will be as the dust of the earth. They'll scatter everywhere. All the families of the earth will bless themselves in you. I'll stay with you. I'll protect you wherever you go. I'll stick with you until I've done everything I promised you. This is a reminder that God keeps his promises. This is confirmation that God's promise to Abraham is going to be manifested through Jacob. You know, there are some promises that God made me that I won't even live to see, but my kids will get the benefits of it. That doesn't mean that God is a liar. It just means that he operates outside of time. Jacob wakes up. He sets up a pillar of rocks to remember the place where God was because he's like, whoa, this place is holy. He named it Bethel, which means God's house. Now, as some of you may or may not know, I ran a marathon in the Holy Land. I've been to Jerusalem and they have pillars of rocks still there almost like how we have street signs and stop signs so i wouldn't be surprised if this place still exists so what's cool about this entire message is how from the outside looking in we see that god is with jacob this whole time throughout his entire journey and as one of the descendants of abraham through jesus that promise that was made to jacob still extends to us today but the really cool thing that we get to see is how God is with him and he promised he'll never leave him. And God is also with us throughout our entire journey, no matter how scary it gets.